Now I want to talk about Segba, the, that is the previous、uh, work of that、uh, great researcher in Singapore. So it, it's a ger- generic neural text segmentation with pointer networks. So the same as lecture three, but this is the older version of their work. Of course, it could be used for text segmentation. And the beauty of this article is is that they argue that text segmentation can be used to so they they see everything as a label classification. So text segmentation is a fundamental task, as you know. For example, if you use this、uh, granularity segmenting a document in the sequence of topical segments. It is topic segmentation, but you can change your scope. You can you can change your、uh, concentration and 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 granularity. So you get segmenting a sentence into a second、uh, sequence of EDU. So Segbot uses a bidirectional recurrent neural networks to just like previous lecture. The model uses another recurrent neural networks together with pointer to select text boundaries in the sequence. And the good thing is that Segbot, unlike the lecture one and two, lecture one,、uh, does not require handcraft features. So you don't need part of speech tag and all things that they they generate errors and they. Give it to the next layers, goes to downstream, and so it propagates all errors. But now we don't require those handcrafted features, and Segbot outperforms state of the art for both topic and EDU segmentation. So topic segmentation and EDU segmentation. So application of text segmentation. So text segmentation is. Generally, refers to breaking a document into a sequence of topically coherent segments. So we call it topic segmentation. And topic segmentation is often this is prerequisite. It means that first it is better to do topic segmentation. Topic segmentation. After doing that, you go to other levels such as discourse parsing. After that, you do other things, and here, for example, you have text summarization, which has which is two types: abstractive, which is difficult, and extractive. That you just set a subset of that. It's it's so easy. Abstractive is like paraphrasing in human. It's human like, but extractive is not human like. It's just picking some. A subset. So at higher level, you do topic segmentation. That's why it's a prerequisite to other tasks downstream.、Uh, just a quick recap: EDU segmentation at a final level, text segmentation refers to breaking each sentence into a sequence of elementary discourse units. So unsupervised topic segmentation are two types: similarity based. For example, what is the similarity between this sentence and this sentence and this sentence? So it's like a complete graph. What is the similarity between this and this? Yeah, it's complete graph. So that's why it's a little bit hard if you just work on complete graphs. It's, it's a huge number of edges. We don't like it. You should you should、uh, work to reduce this complete graph, and and the second one is probabilistic generative models. Things like latent directly allocation that I've explained in my playlist for NLP. Also hidden Markov models that I've explained, and sequence labeling problem. So both both. Topic and EDU segmentation can be treated as a sequence labeling problem, where the task is to predict a sequence of yes/no boundary tags.
at the level of sentences in a document or words in a sentence. So the first, the older version is RNR uh, CRF, conditional random field. But now you will see that sequence to sequence is getting much popularity because it's really powerful. Of course, you can augment the attention. It becomes more powerful. If you add hierarchical attention, it becomes even more powerful. If you add priority uh, pointer networks, it becomes even more powerful. So there are three components for SegBot. Encoding, this is the encoding layer. You give the inputs. You, know, you could be word or sentence. Depend. If it is a word, you just represent it by glove, that word embedding that I explained. Uh, if it is a sentence, just represent it by sentence embed. So each U is a sentence. You embed it and embed the sentence using any technique that you like. And then you have the decoding phase. So this part is decoding phase. And the pointing phase, the, the pointing phase refers to the work of pointer networks, PTR networks, that I explained in the previous lecture. PTR net. So you are pointing at different points to say that, okay, this is the boundary. And this has a type of attention. So this is attention. Uh, and it is a probability, so it is well defined. And encoding phase, as I said, it's LSTM. I'm repeating all of these again because uh, the author is for both articles. Encoding phase, if you use GRU. And the decoding phase. And finally, the pointing phase. In the pointing phase, we use the idea of pointer networks to, to point at different boundaries. What is the probability that this is the boundary and that is the boundary? And model training we use this L2 regularization, and finally, we reduce minus log likelihood. And this is the result for topic segmentation. So from here to here, this is one topic. From here to here, two topic, three topics. So three topics, so it's a topic visualization. 